the good. We got, <laughs> we got the barbecue pork, the barbecue chicken, the smoked sausage, the ribs, and then from a side perspective, the collard greens, the fried green tomatoes, the fried okra, and the potato salad and the coleslaw. What's up? Hope you're doing great. Liam Irvin here, owner-operator of Village Food Tours. We offer walk-in food tours in Cocoa Beach, Cocoa Village, Port Canaveral, and downtown Melbourne. So if you haven't, if you're just tuning in, what I do is I go around, support the local restaurants, food trucks, anything that's food and drink related, and um, show them some love, buy some food, eat some food, have a good time. Now and then I'll help them out with some of their marketing, but that's that. So today I took a trip to Titusville yet again I've visited before and I went to they have a food truck rally about once every month so it was a giant food truck rally they got about 15 different food trucks out there there's ones like Burger Rob's Keys Wings a whole lot of other awesome food trucks but today I hit up mainly I focused on Donkey's Barbecue and from them we got barbecue pork barbecue chicken ribs and their smoked sausage so we're going to dig into that. I also told them I wanted a bunch of sides. So I got one of all the sides, I believe. We got some fried okra, some fried tomatoes, some coleslaw, and some potato salad. And then we also got some collard greens. We also got Knob's Not Your Ordinary Burrito, which from them we got, I don't know, it, it was like you burn you out burrito. So I'm a little intimidated because it's like, oh, yeah. Um, it's got rice hamburger meat, um, scorpion cheese, a ghost pepper sausage, jalapenos, um, and I'm, yeah, I'm probably going to regret eating this, but I still am looking forward to it. I guess I'm going to be a glutton for punishment. So, also got my sweet tea to wash the drinks down. And they also have their barbecue sauce from um, Donkey's Barbecue, as well as this other sauce, which I have not tried yet. So, um, for the sides, most of them, mm, that's good. Um, for the sides, it's kind of like a, a southwestern ranch sauce. And I also, since it's close in the area of Titusville, there's also um, Playa Linda Brewery, which I, one of my favorite breweries around. And they have the Pleasure Chest IPA. So it's just, it's 6.6% .6 alcohol volume. Um, they have both the Bricks Project, um, that's where the brewery's at, and they make all their beer there. And then they also have the, also have the hardware store that's located in downtown Titusville as well. So they have food there as well. I got the kids some burgers, but I've, I, I need to go there and really focus on that. I had all this going on already. Can't go and focus on that. So um, this is one of my favorite IPAs. It's Even though it's 6.6%, .6%, it's still like really light and crisp and refreshing and it's not that overly bitter bitter ipa so i'm gonna a couple before so got all the pictures got all the video and then i sit down and do the um video of me eating i don't just you know it's i don't have multiple cameras i'm using my cell phone at that and yep it's not overly like hoppy either. It's very, it's a nice, it's a beautiful IPA. And that is the Pleasure Chest. All right, so because this is a very spicy burrito, I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna eat everything else. That way my taste buds don't get fried. If it's super hot um, and I have enough energy, I'll probably go. If you have Facebook, we have a Facebook group, Village Food Tours, or on our Instagram page and our Facebook page. Um, I'll go live and like to chat with people. There's a cat at my leg. And then if I could see you commenting, I'll definitely comment back and follow back too. So I'm going to go with the sides first because they've been sitting there longest. So it, it's hard to get an impression of fried stuff, but the... Oh. That's very firm, but the fried green tomatoes, 
I'm gonna try that first. I love, love, love fried green tomatoes. Oh my. Mmm. Okay, yum. The tomato is absolutely perfect. Uh, the breading has so much flavor and depth of flavor in it. And the seasoning that they have in there is really great. Now, the tomato is super, um, the tomato is super juicy and tart, but not overwhelming. Like some fried green tomatoes have too much acidity to them, too much, too sour. This is just, just perfect where it, it hits you at the maximum sourness, but gets it right in there. And it's not overly like soaked with grease either. Mm-hmm. And then with the sauce, the sauce is absolutely amazing. But, uh, I'm going to eat some of it without the sauce or the rest of it. That was a great fried green tomato. That's really awesome. Really awesome. Next, I'm going to try the fried okra. I'm going to try it without. Same amazing batter. Oh, wow. The beer pairs so well with barbecue. That's, yeah, that's what's up. Ha. I don't think I might even need the tea, but there still is that burrito down the road. Uh, let me try the okra with the sauce. Oh, wow. Yeah, buddy. Um, I think I like the tomato better with the sauce, though. The okra I like just on its own. Mm -hmm. Y'all make sure to keep some of that for Des when she gets home. Next, I'm going to go into the collard greens. Which is, if you've been following me, I, I've, I'm, I love collards. And um, these ones look great. Uh, the only thing is, is that I don't see much of any other, oh, there's some of the, some of the meat there. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give the collards a shot. Okay. I had, it wasn't the meat that I had. It was actually a little bit of, um, the bone that goes in for seasoning it. Really, really good. Per absolutely perfect texture wise. Like, not overcooked, not undercooked, like, absolutely not, like, super, like, they're, they're fairly, like, you could pull apart, you know, strips of the greens as opposed to it being all, like, mushed and chopped. Um, only downfall is it is slightly saltier than I would like, but still really, really yummy. Not bad at all. Not, like, probably some of the best greens I've had. Not gonna lie. I've got some good greens. Next, I'm going to go for coleslaw. Okay. Perfect flavor. Um, not overly sweet. Just has enough acidity in there, enough sourness, so like vinegar, or however they do it, so that it's not... Um, it balances really, really well. Now... The only thing is the mayo um, or the sauce that's used is it's a little um, it's a little buttery in texture. So, but it's good. It's good. That's good. And now I'm just going individually based off of everything. Next potato salad. I'll just get a. I get two chunks. Why not? I'll go all in. Oh wow, mm. that's good. It's a um, more mustardy based potato salad, but I really like that. Um, and then there's the, the depth of the seasoning kind of, um, they probably got one seasoning that they like, they 
probably got their base spices that they use for everything and rubs, sides, batter, and everything, but it, it goes really well. That's good. Only thing I would like, maybe a little veggies chopped in there. I could get a little crunchy, crispy stuff, but that's an improvement on something that I believe is perfect. Now, if you're not a mustard fan, you won't like it. If you are, or want to experience a different, something different, you like it. Dun, dun, dun. Now we're going to go into the meats. So we've got some pull, some barbecue chicken. I'm going to give that a shot first. It's really um, chopped up. That's good. Let's try it with some of the barbecue. The barbecue chicken. Oh, there's some fried green tomato stuff. Now the barbecue pork. Oh, this is nice and greasy. Mm hmm That's good. Oh. I like that. I really like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. I'm going to try this smoked sausage. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Wow, it's good. Oh, it's got kick tip too. Oh, that's awesome. Mm. Definitely has a kick on the back end. Whew. That's good. Spicy sausage. Spicy smoked sausage. Gonna have to have another piece so I can give you guys a input back on it. So it's ground really good. It's not overly, it's like there is the grease from sausage in there, but it's not overly. The skin is so crispy. And it just snaps. Like imagine if you had a whole thing, you could just pop and it would just make that nice crispy, crunchy, poppy sound. That's some darn good sausage. And next. Got some good sausage. Next is the ribs and these bad boys. And I didn't even try the sausage with any sauce. It doesn't need it. Wow, that's good. Let's do the ribs next. I'm gonna go in naked, nothing on them. Oh, sorry. I completely just got like into the ribs. We have some barbecue. Mm. Oh. Oh. The ribs have the absolute perfect texture. They're not like, because like the fall off the bone ribs are supposed to be a thing, but. You, you, if they fall off the bone, it's kind of like the ribs are overdone. Um, they still need to stick to the bone some, so it's not just, it's, I don't know. That's how I feel about ribs. Now, I could be wrong, but I feel like when they fall off the bone, it's kind of like they're more like boiled ribs than um, smoked, good smoked barbecue. Mm. Definitely has a lot of smoky depth of flavor to it. Uh oh. This is damn good rib. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
much about it. Oh wow. This one's better than the last. This one's got, oh, this one is like, and it's still like on the bone, but so, so moist. Oh my gosh, and the meat just falls apart. But it's still stuck on the bone, so it's got that like smoke got in there good. I just think I got a skinnier mm -hmm, um, rib there, so it wasn't as fatty and juicy. But this is, oh my gosh, yeah. Oh my gosh, and you can see the smoke line in it. Um, it just starts pulling just like that, but it's still on there good. <laughs> yes, man. I'm gonna try it with the barbecue. It's probably gonna be like mind blowing right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. That's good. That's really good. Those, these, these right here are the best ribs I've ever had. Like, that's awesome. The sausage too. Like, yeah, everything is like 10 out of 10. Like, well done, Doki's Barbecue. Well done. I'm very impressed. Very impressed. I'm getting full, and then I'm going to dig into the knobs. No ordinary burrito and more. I'm probably only going to have one bite out of it, because I don't want to suffer. It's kind of like a hamburger burrito with all these spicy sauces and cheese. So, oh, there's bacon in there, too. And is that egg? I don't know. Let's Let's... Got a lot of flavor. It tastes really good. He's coming in strong though. Oh, that's coming in strong. That is coming in strong. I should have just went with a regular burrito so I could have reviewed it. Because this is just hot. Thumbs numb. I I don't think I'm sweating just yet. My face is flushed. Oh, that's hot. Put for punishment. Yeah. Uh, one more time. I think um oh so I won't be able to do this whole thing unless I just want to be like absolutely hurting for a long period of time um, but I think I'm I don't want it to go to waste I'm almost seeing stars it's that hot oh but I don't want it to go to waste so I'm gonna probably make some rice, cut it up and dump the, and mix it in so that I like can spread it out. It's like scorpion chilies, ghost pepper. Oh. It's hot. Mmm. It was like a hamburger too. Yeah. Mmm. I think I might be okay with that bite because um there's more hamburger meat. There's the other part that has all the peppers that's in my cheek. Um, um 
And then I just mix it all together. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, that one's better because there was more of the meat. But still pretty hot. Really hot. Really good though. Wait a second for it to calm down and I can check out with y'all. I hope this is recording because if it didn't and I have to re record, it, it's just a lost cause. It's just not happening. No, not a bit. <laughs> I'm gonna check to make sure it is recording because I don't wanna have to redo that. Good, we're still recording. So, <laughs> um, play Linda Brewery as always. Love your guys' stuff. Donkey's BBQ, barbecue, absolutely like like 10 out of 10 like <laughs> you guys rock um no I have no ordinary burritos and more definitely not an ordinary burrito as always thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe so you can catch every video that we release make sure you subscribe so we can get it it's hot and I can't talk that long I have to wait for the outro for a second. Please subscribe and support these businesses too. All the links, all the information is in the comments. I will catch you next time.